Hello everybody and welcome back to the House of Storm and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So guys, in the last episode we set sail for Key Hall Key. Our ship was destroyed by Pirate Ghost and now here we are in the island. Um, we are now in, I, I want to say, Cortez's cave who is the treasure we are after. Cortez's treasure. We got Bombery here now, we're going to be using him probably most of this, rest of this chapter. And guys, let's go find us some treasure. Ooh, get the hell out. Oh, oh, <laughs> we're coming for you, Cortez. We also have a badge now that we can jump on fire. So I'm going to, uh, Power bounce here on this lava bubble. He should be gone. Okay, we have four. We're just gonna do bomb. Damn, that does five damage. That's nice. That's some good damage. Well, I want that star piece, though. Can he get items? He can't, but we just fought him. Alright, let's see. What do I want to do here? Use Bomb Squad. Then I want to... Power bounce on the second one here and take him out. And they do four. Ooh, it took him down quite a bit. So they take a turn to detonate. I probably should have took out the back one. Oh, we could have used that. See you. Oh, it's gonna hit him anyways. Damn, we got 20 for that. Bombery, I'm so sorry, man. He took some damage there. And goodbye all those coins. Oof. Maybe we'll get Bombery a break. Well, I, I'm actually going to need him. Oh! Yeah, they only got two health. They have a really high defense, though. We only get one for killing him. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. So you can take Vivian here. You can just duck each time. We're in a hurry. Oh. Maybe I should take her out. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, we're getting one experience each time. At least we're getting something. I can get my star points back, too. Because once we get to the things that are doing this, they have a very high defense, and we'll probably use Art Attack on them. 
so close. Styling on him. Goodbye, Bullet Bill. I don't think I'm going to do any damage here. I did two. Alright, we'll take out this one. So he's going to shoot out... I think they can only shoot out bullet bills. Shout out two of them. Okay. And Bomberry can just take out the cannon. Well, we're getting some bonus. You know. I paid this guy like 20 coins for a medium reading, and I've gotten more stuff than I ever have paying a lot of money for it. Wish we got extra XP for killing all these bullet bills. How's it feel to know your death meant nothing? That you did no damage with it? Take the heart, take the flower points. Hopefully a save point soon. We're gonna need... I think we need something. Yeah, we need a winch. Take that. <laughs> okay, so don't do that. Alright, Bombery, because I won't eat them regardless. I'll give you a shroom fry. I'm gonna save it first, then we'll deal with you. Let's see if I can get a perfect jump here. Nope. I failed. I failed my ancestors. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a power bounce on this one. Kill this one here. Should be five health. Oh, he's six health. Okay, normal jump here. Yeah, you you can most likely get rid of this until like the final chapter. Your badge for jumping on fire enemies. Okay, we need a key, so we'll go up here. Hit the save point. Here we go. I think I have to use coops to get that. I think. Oh, I actually didn't even mean to fight him. And Koops is not the person I want with me. I don't think so.
No, Coops can't do anything, so we'll switch to Storm in here. I'll let him go first. I don't know if he can flip him on his back or not. He can. And we're just gonna power bounce and get him out of here. We're gonna level up very soon. Next battle we'll level up. Got the shine sprite. I'm gonna go ahead and get Bombery out here. There we go. He's gonna go ahead and open that door for us. Ooh, turn back. Ooh, go now. Go no further. Or you will never leave. Shut the hell up. We don't want to fight him because they just blow up. We can't use these yet, but we will soon. You know, actually, because we're going to level up anyways. Oh. Oh, I can't reach him. So he's gonna blow and this is gonna blow everyone up, but we're gonna level up. Why did Bombery take no damage there? And do my health, get my health up a little bit. Take those yummy coins, though. All right. We got time this right. Oh well, that certainly wasn't it. <laughs> oh, that wasn't it either. I could also do coops here. I don't have to do not too long. Cause you can just do coops and like do the hold method. That should be good. Oh, Bombery, quit falling in. There we go. So that'll get us, that'll open us the door in the cave now. The one where we, uh, we fought the first fire sprite at. Alright, let's do this. Save the game, because why not? Progress was saved. Open the key. Or open the lock. Get in the door. No, thank you. We've already leveled up. We don't need to fight you guys. Get Coops here real quick. Okay, Coops. This way, buddy. Oh. Forgot about that one right there. Yeah, the only companion you really never need to use again, unless you want, is Goombella. But she can tell you about the area. So I cannot get that Shine Sprite. What well, if I do like this? Oh! Nice.
So can he just blow this up? Nice. Damn it. Alright, Vivian, I need you. There we go. I don't know if her attack can uh, can get every will do any damage. Oh, it does five. Oh, good job, Vivian. Why did I jump? Doesn't matter though. Right. I think we're gonna get back Bombery now. Actually, I'll keep her just for this fight. That's what I'm talking about. Let's use fiery drinks and get rid of them again. This is why we need to keep our flower points up. Now we can get Bombery back. Sorry, these guys are in my way. Oh, I didn't know there were gonna be four. You cannot block that either. You did get 20 for killing him, though. I don't see a black key anywhere. Definitely didn't pick one up. There is no way to get back. Oh, there's one hidden somewhere. York. A oh, sweet, sweet salvation. I thought no one would ever come. I had given up. What's that? I'll spare you the prologue and just curse you already. Now, how did you know I was going to do that? Now, seriously, hang on a sec. Can't you just listen to my spiel for a little bit? I've been locked in here forever. Bored stiff, doing nothing but practice in this speech. Uh, I'm already the fourth cursing chest you've met. Are you serious? So you're saying you know exactly this is all going to turn out. And talk about a raw deal. You're a twisted little guy, you know that? Okay, fine, fine. I get the picture. Sheesh. All I wanted was to see the face of the monk we stole when I popped out. That's so much to ask. Anyway, what are you waiting for? Just open it already. Not the key looks like Mr. Seen at all. Some ghost in here has it. So let's beat him and get it and we'll get this farce over with. Come on now, I'm waiting. Oh, there he is. Alright, so I am going to power bounce and get rid of this one. Kill this one. Only two damage, you're weak. Or a spin jump you. Damn, eight damage that does now. I think we're gonna level up before we finish this chapter again. Yeah, yeah, whoop de doo you got the key. Party time, now let me out already. Alright, here we go. Since you're just itching to get this over with, ahem. 
Wee fools! I don't know if you guys remember the story, there were four guardians that sealed the demon away, and then four of the dark chest. You just fall right into my absolute brilliant trap, and now you will suffer. Oh yeah, I am so evil. Bathe in the foul awful. Wait, what was next? Oh yeah, you fools will be cursed forever for your appalling stupidity. You will rue the day you open this chest of doom. Now, you wretched guy. Be he cursed! Wee hee hee! Now you're cursed. But good. Suffer, suffer, suffer. Wait, that's maybe too much. Are you alright? I didn't really hurt, did it? Wee! -hee. Good. Squirm and suffer like a socially awkward worms. From now on, in certain places, if you press Y, you'll turn into a paper boat. Isn't that just gruesome? Just try it out so I can see the depth of your humiliation. Feel the terror of your fate. You stand on one of these boat panels. The panel will feel your curse and glow. You stand here, slime. Feel the pain and press Y. Become a paper boat. Wee hee hee. Oh yes, such suffering. You feel the horror? Now you pit a little boat. You float on the water, people will laugh at you. You will be spit upon. I thought it's shit upon. It only works in certain places. Don't worry, it's not too bad. This music used to scare me as a kid. And you just press Y to get back out. Now we're okay. Back to good old Mario. Yes, your pain is like a tasty banquet to me. Now, do you understand your doom? Yeah, I get it. Then off with you, you jaded cursed boat guy. Oh, and hey, listen. Thanks for letting me do my thing. Feel better. Ah, well, I see. That cursed chap seems rather a bit all right, eh? Now we can turn to a paper boat. Okay, I forgot, because I was like, I did not pick up a key. And there was no way off of this. Let's go. Oh. I thought we get to go a lot further. Now I'm sad. <laughs> okay, we don't got to fight any more bullet bills for now, so that's good. I would like to avoid fighting you guys if I can. And get your ankles broken. Get your ankles broken. Oh. Can we make it? Yes, we can. Barely. I think there was a boat one back up here. Of course, save the game. Oh, sorry, Bombery. Yeah, right here. Oh, wrong button. That leads nowhere, that leads down. It's probably the way to go, but I think there was an entrance way over here. There was. Ooh, secret. Um, I don't think I ever found this playing as a kid. Boost your allies' defense by one. That's nice. If you want to play like a defensive build. Now me, I prefer to go on the offensive, but... Which I probably should boost my defense. Especially my partners. Okay, so we have to go down here. Maybe this way? Yeah, this has to be it. Here we go. I'm guessing the crank will be right here. Sure it is. And now we go back.
Yes, I do think we have to... Uh, we'll have to walk back over here, which I don't think it's too far. Oh, wrong way. Or maybe it is. Actually, I think we were supposed to uh, actually stay off over there. Because I think we walked back this way. Whoops. My bad. That actually makes sense. The game loves to make you walk. Gotta get ready to go as soon as it drops. And go! Come on, Yoshi, use those little legs. There we go. And now, we can go back, be a boat, and come back over here. Freaky voice is making that noise again. This ghost must be nearby. Switch back to Bombery. Go in here real quick. Go back up here. Save the game, because I, I am a save scummer. Go back up here. Alright, Bombery, make the jump. There you go. I always feel bad. He always falls. Down we go. And back down we go now. I think it's the right. Yes. Oh, yep, this part. Always. I hate this part. I'm so bad at it. You get hit by the wave, um, you go all the way back. Oh, it appeared! Oh, that is such horse shit. <laughs> I'm so mad about that. It appeared right there. So this side seems... Oh, thought it was safe. I'm a little upset still, though. Come on. Like, how are you going to appear right? That's the best I've done here. How are you going to appear right where I'm at? Hey, something's coming. There, floating on the water. Oh, yeah, we're already almost to the boss fight. Is that... Is that a boat? Hey, over here, save us, please. What is that? Well, that's pointless. Are you kidding me? It's made out of paper. I can't breathe. Hey guys, shut the hell up. Is <laughs> that over here? No, okay. Alright, so we gotta get up there. We're going to do this a few times. There we go, there's one. And then one more. We'll be able to get the... the other lost people to safety. Now, I don't think this is the same people on our ship. I believe they were the first voyagers. Look at that precision. I could have been a pilot. And now they can go to safety. Hey, we can cross over now. Hey, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Oh, 
Lots of toads. Hey, it's the Don's uh, daughter. And his new son-in-law. Frankie and Francesca. I'm just gonna fly over there now. There we go. Oh, my soul. My soul. I don't know how you did it, but you saved us. We came here looking for that pirate treasure, and then, well, our ship got surrounded by ghosts and out of the ocean, and we all ended up here. Hey, aren't you Mario? It's me, me, Don Pieta's daughter, Francesca. And Frankie's here, too. After my dad forgave us, we set out on a trip. The ship we were on got a little too close to this island, and now look at us. Still, I'm amazed the rumors about Cortez were all true, which means he's nearby. Hey, so by the way, why are you here? Don't tell me Daddy had you come here to take us back. What? You're after the pirate's treasure because it might contain a crystal star? Well, I think the treasure is right in there, watched by Cortez's spirit. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us on that raft, so smack him one for me. Okay. Oh, didn't mean. We don't, we don't care about you guys. Alright. To Cortez. Oh, yeah, it's, it's coming. The battle's coming. But, whoa. Whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost along the way, and... Anyway, I followed this path, and I finally caught up with you, and then... Listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the Crystal Star is inside that pirate ship, and the Pirate King Cortez is in there, too. I'm pretty sure, yeah, probably. No big deal, though, right? You can take him, big guy. We're counting on you. Well, I know I sure am, and so is Grotus. So I'm actually going to take Vivian in here with me, I think, for this battle. Ooh, you ignored my warning. Ooh, come inside the door and lost in darkness. Look at all this treasure. Ooh, come into my... Ugh. Ooh. There's the crystal star. Enough. I got tired of this spooky ooh business. I'm a pirate, damn it. Pirates do not moan. I'm a cold blooded villain who robs innocence of life and loot, not a crying ghost. And you are after my treasure. In this, this is my ship. What are you doing here? Speak. I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher, amigo. Yo ho ho. Bone pile. Oh, I feel like her she's not gonna do any damage. Oh, she did three. Wow. It's not over yet. I thought I'm like, oh, I already beat him. I think he has like three different forms. Okay, let's go ahead and use Arg Attack here. There we go. Use Fiery Jinx one more time.
Hmm. Let's decrease his defense by one. Damn, by three. Ooh, he charged his attack. Okay, I think he's down to his third and final form now. <laughs> Why is the audience singing? Alright, we should get first attack. I'm gonna go ahead and use this on myself. Because I'm I'm gonna need Vivian's fiery jinx here. That should drop the weapons. I'm gonna go ahead and use sweet treat. Gain some FP back for Fiery Jinx once the, uh, once the weapons come back to life. This is, this is, this is actually going really, oh, that's a good, that's a good haul. We're going to use Shade Fist. Okay, we're still at 30 health. Go ahead and take care of those for me. Thank you. Then I'm going to use Power Bounce. No, no I won't. I'm gonna save it. Ah, I can't take much more of this. This calls for something special. I see the true might of my spirit form. Oh. 47 health, okay. Hammer throw. I think we're gonna be okay. Really need some more FP. Oh, got tasty tonic. So I'm gonna go ahead and use sweet treat here on us. Ah, we hit the poison mushroom. We get two fiery jinxes off. I don't think so. I'm just gonna go ahead and take all these out. We really didn't need it that time. And he's burned now. Oh, he got me that time. Already got Sweet Treat again if we need it. We just beat him. We beat a boss. 
a boss with that. I really thought we'd level up before we fought him. No, my treasure! I am done for. Yo, -ho. you are foolish, amigo, for I am not dead. Well, technically I was already dead, but my spirit endures, tied to my treasure. So you cannot do anything to me. I do not live, amigo. Still, guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. What? You're not even interested in my treasure? And why are you here? Huh? You want this, amigo? This little rock over here. Are you serious? Well, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? Didn't really like that one anyways. You got a crystal star. Your star power is now six, and why are you learning a special move, Sweet Feast? So it's the more powerful move of Sweet Treat. End of chapter. Cortez, Scourge of the Seas. Mario soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the crystal star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need to fear Cortez and his fellowship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's nose? Yeah, I don't think it doesn't go to Princess Peach's thing yet. Well, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you, amigo. And then I heard something my ears could not believe. We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the Pir Pirate King Cortez. Well, we're gonna need Yoshi to get over here. Save the game. Get Bombery back. I usually use Bombery for that fight, but I wanted to try something different. Whoa, that was like an earthquake in there. Are you alright? Ooh, you beat Cortez. You're really something. Yes, now that you've got some free time, why don't you get us out of here? Why don't you shut the hell up, Toad? All that shaking caused this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. We could break down this wall. I think we could escape. I guess that's not much help. What a breeze. How are you going to bust through a solid rock, though? You know how we're going to do it. Yeah, it worked, just like I said. Well, me first. Alright, everybody, let's get the hell out of here. Stamp cave air is just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. You saved our lives, man. I'll never forget you. But I need to leave now. There's everybody. Ah, oh, Mario, welcome back, you my stalwart captain. So, have you found the treasure? How's our little expedition faring? What? The spirit of Cortez was guarding the treasure, and you beat him? You left all the treasure there? Ah! What were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Ah, well, that's what I like about you, I guess. Could it be? Brother? You, what are you doing here? I came looking for you, brother. All the way to this island, I came looking. But ghosts attack us, and our boat just sank. But I found you now. Well, your boat sank, too. So you're all stranded here as well. Oh, no.
Or hold on, what was that? Heck, what is that? Pardon me, guys, but I mean, ba 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 ba. So sorry to surprise you. No, wait. No need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the Crystal Star. Oh, yeah, seriously. Good job getting it for me. Oh, no. Ain't that good old Four Eyes? Yeah, that is Four Eyes. What the hell is he doing over there? Hey, Four Eyes. It's dangerous up there. <sighs> it's with the lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here. Oh, whatever. I'll spell it out for you idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I'm actually... Ba 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 ha ha. The great Lord Crump. Oh man, did I fool you. I was the mastermind in the shadows, running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. Now Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Hand over the crystal star, because you know what'll happen if you don't. Starboard cannons, port cannons, fire, fire, fire. The X4 Eyes was a pirate all this time. Madness. What are we standing around for? Cannons, people, we must flee. Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without a ship to sail. Wait, I have it. I'm a genius. We have a ship at hand. A fine one, I must say. Mario, take me to Cortez. Yes, my brain remembered what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship. If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. Bobby, what are you talking about? That's crazy. This is Cortez the pirate you're talking about here. Even if Mario did beat him, why would he lend you his ship, huh? He'll cream you. Cream you. Yeah, maybe a coward and a cad, but I still lead you. I have a duty to protect you. But we can't. We will be cannon fodder if we sit and wag our tons. We must at least try Cortez. I hear no complaints. I am your leader, and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Now, Mario, take me to this pirate scum this instant. Excuse me, pardon me. To Cortez. And we'll save it just to be safe. Alright, here we go. Like this asshole again. Ooh. Oh wait, what? Oh, it's you again. Did you forget something? C -c Cortez, I have to speak to you. Could you lend me your ship? What? What would possess me to lend you my ship? And who are we anyway? My name is Flavio. We are in big trouble. We could really use your ship. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. We just need to borrow your ship for the teensiest little while. What are you talking about, Machacho? I do not rent this ship for pleasure cruises. Even if I would lend it to you, the ship is magical and it cannot move now. The key to power in this ship is the mystical skull gem. The Skull Gem? You mean this? You! You have the Skull Gem! Oh, uh, yes I do. Will you say this proposition then? Take the gem handed down through generations of my family and lend us your ship. That's a pretty fair deal. Do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Old friend, your ancestors stole that gem from me, you stuttering peacock. You must be very brave or very foolish to ask such a thing of me. I should turn you into a piata and throw a party on the beach. Wait just a moment. Do not make me have Mario trounce you again. While he fights you, I will throw this stone into the sea where you will never find it. What would that be? Rah! You rattle my bones, Senior Peacock. Very well. Accept your bargain, amigo. Now be very careful with that gem. Ah. Check and mate, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing in negotiation, no. You can talk here with you any deal, I say. You, take this. Ah, oh, and now my precious black skull will sail the seas again. I'm getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas, like in the old days. So Mario, feel free to thank me anytime for saving us all, but for now we sail.
Let's do this. Hey, we're coming too. Let's take him. Come on, all for one, guys. Oi, I'm letting old Flavio Fancy Pants hog the glory. Come on, Captain Stash. It's been a millennium since I gazed out upon the sea. Come to the open waters. I got messed up. He just has like these souls on his boat. But ha ha, I got ammo to spare. How's that for a boom bass a boom? You fire cannons here without my permission. You have nerve, mortal. What the? Oh, they're just on the sail. I'm gonna sink this radio ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean. Hear my voice, spirits. Take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. Mario, my captain, is now your turn again. Get over there and duel that cad. But I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'm gonna turn you guys into seaweed. Don't think so. Don't think so. There we go. Sometimes it works. Oh! Well, you're not going to get off that easy, losers. Let's see how you like this. X nuts. He's <laughs> taking three damage each time. Did we just win? Oh no, not yet. Oh, he's healing. Man, this is no good. Almost ace for a second there. You haven't finished me off yet, you sea urchins. I'm down, but no way am I out. Let's get Vivian back in here. Fiery Jinx time. And power bounce again. Who do I want to go with? Let's get Bombery back. And then I'm going to go ahead and do Earth Tremor. We're going to get both of them here. There we go. There it is. Do at least six or seven each. 
Don't think so. Hmm. Okay. Just gonna try and take him out. That should be six. Is that enough? Yep. That's gonna be a level up. You don't mess with Captain Stash. Yeah, we're gonna need more flower points with all these attacks. This is getting old. How can I lose again? I hate losing. We've done it, old boy. I should say he won't be too keen on seeing us again. Way to go. Eat seaweed. We did it. Way to go. Eat seaweed. So that should be the true end of the chapter now, which it is. You blew it again, Lord Crump. You sicken me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought that we had the guy cornered, but... Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance, understand? Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there. Me? No. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again, and tell him not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands. Mario is five. I must take some measures. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Tech, what was that noise? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I cannot view. But I must know it. I must know that info. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter this room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind tech, really. Ask me anything. Well then first, leave the room, take the elevator up as you did earlier. I remember playing the first Paper Mario and that was so much fun. And then, like, I got my hands on this one. And I was like... To me, this blows it out of the water. And I, I like the next one, Super Paper Mario, but this is still my favorite. We go in the opposite direction. Green lamp above it. Okay, so that's going to be the left. I think. Hopefully there's another room. Here it is. No, have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent? You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay, how do I make it? You must first set all the potions on the desk in the concationator. It's that machine in the back, but I do not know which potion to set where. 
should be memos in the room left by x not researchers. Please use them as reference to set the potions in the machine. No, do not place the red potion on the far right. No, place the blue potion next to the red potion. No, place the orange potion between the blue potion and green potion. It's gonna go red. First, let's grab them all. Place two potions between the green and red potion. And I think it said don't put the red potion to the right. Next to the red. Yeah, okay. Let's say green on the far right. Yeah, so green's gonna go here. Red here. He said put blue next to red. Are you sure they're placed to your liking? Yes, very well. Then press, please cue the button on the control panel located on the left side of the room. Please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense each potion. I think I did this right. Yeah. Science class. This is fun. We have done no green yet. Yeah, green, of course, is going to be the last one. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Are you actually going to do it for me, or do I need to, like, count? Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. Alright. Now, is this, like, a true 30 seconds, or is this, like... I'm like counting in my head right now. And I definitely think I have the potions placed right. Like, I really do. At least I hope so. <laughs> that looks right to me. My calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? Yes, it's green, that means good. Well, please drink it. Is this safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. Oh, we are invisible. You have done it. You successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. But I must ask you to take off your dress. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent. No way. Oh, fine, I guess, if it's the only way. When you go into Sir Grotus's room, the first locate, first locate the disk with the recorded data, and insert that disk into the personal computer and connect it to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal. Jeez, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir Grotus' room. What? Okay, that was creepy. Why are the doors open even if there's no one here? Malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? Dun dun dun. Sir Grotus's office. He's like, what the hell was that? Oh, look at the that's an awesome fish tank. This must be Grotus's room. Now, where's that disc? Probably one of these. Found it. This must be it. Oh, yeah. Now, I insert the disc into the computer and connect it to the network. <laughs> I did it. Yes, I did it. It's working. 
That's cool. Some scary looking fish in there. This supposed to be piranhas. It looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. Here, look, I was never here. Let's go make ourselves visible again. Then we see what Bowser's up to, and then we'll end the episode. Let's go make ourselves visible again. Excuse me. Visible girl coming through. Sorry, visible princess coming through. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now, I will teach you how to become visible again. It's quite simple, actually. Mer merely drink the green potion, you revert to normal instantaneously. There we go. And now I'm ready. Let's see here. The green potion, right? What a relief. I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There's never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. You know, there's an x not right out here. So by the way, Tech, what was on that data? Still analyzing it, the data is very heavily encrypted. If my prediction is correct, it's correct, then what? No, I cannot afford to make any mistakes or assumptions. Let me know when my analysis is complete. Now please use the communicator if you wish. Okay. You tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good. Then I'll use the communicator. Thank you. Written my message. Would you send it? Message has been sent. We're done for now. Go back to the room. Okay, take care, Tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Oh, you're welcome, Tech. Princess Peach, I will protect you. I think he's fallen in love with her. Alright, let's see what Bowser's up to. Oh, he's in Twilight Town. There's Lord Crump. Look, what is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. There should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go to it. Oh man, I'm pretty sure Baldum said she lost her super bomb bomb somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad, bad, bad. Gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here or else. Bam! Got it. I am the man. Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. Bubba ha ha. The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? But somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You're looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet. This will help the crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know. Now, actually, it's you who's going to spill every bit of info on your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. If you, if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa, whoa there, big guy. I mean, no, wait. What am I afraid of you? But you think you can take me, then try it, chubby. All troops report. Bah. -ha. Yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? Meh, <laughs> you dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up. Whoa, well played. It's gonna be tough, guy. That's why I keep one of these around. Sorry, sucker. Eat this turtle dork. Super bomb bomb. Incoming. Oh, well, that was your big weapon. Didn't even go off. That's how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. 
Oh crud. <laughs> and roll credits. Good job, Bowser. Yes, yeah, so it's like every other time you get a platformer with Bowser. You. You have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, many thanks to you. The ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let's get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need, for real. Now let's get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is, then. I'm not correct to see you, Captain Mario. Ah, uh, Mario. We're gonna stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. You are, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? Yes, very good. They'll be rather happy here. Let's be on our way. Ready, amigos? Cast off. So I feel like this boat is probably faster than our boat was. Like, I think it took us, what, three or four days to get the Keyhole Key. I think with his boat, it's gonna be, like, instant. I mean, we're not moving that fast yet, but... And thus our adventure came to an exciting end. The ship sailed smoothly to Rogueport, and soon we sailed the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds. If I have found something even more precious than doubloons, yes. Even now I hear the crew ready in the dock. The time, the, the time is ripe to close this journal. Tell who wander the seas, Flavio blessing upon you, Flavio. Last we return, slathered in glory, to my hometown sweet Rogueport. Of course, it's only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all. Of course, you all know that, and you know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. What? Hey, where are you? You're all leaving already? Oh, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventure also. One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in the greatness and fabulousness. It's not likely, I assure you, but you should. Ah, oh, you say shoot for the stars, ah. Huh? If you reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Keyhole Key, just say the word. I will send you to the island faster than the fastest wind blows, Caprende. Yes, yes, you giant skull. You, you, your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. And while my adoring fans have gone, I will be excusing myself as well. See me in town, I'll pretty say hello to me. May we meet again. Well, well, old boy. I wish I had that door at this point. Oh, we got an email from Princess Peach. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this tech, I've managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once this analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Princess Peach. Great Goobery, your princess is known to be trifled with. We best get to work, too. Alright, guys, so we're going to end this episode here. So I want to thank you so much for being a guest in the House of Storm. If you enjoyed this episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, please let me know. Like I say again, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you all in the next video.